Hi, Dr. Trace here, plastic and reconstructive surgeon. As I've told you before, there are a million of women across the world that want to feel more empowered about their bodies. In this case, we have just such a patient that wanted to do some minor enhancements to her body to really go along with her empowerment and feel better about her body. As Dr. Trace just said, I am definitely one of those patients. I remember I hated to look at myself in the mirror. Ew, but now I own that mirror. I can't stop smiling, I can't stop looking at myself, and more important, I can't stop loving myself. Dr. Triggs has definitely given me the empowerment that I've always wanted and that I've been missing. Thank you, doctor. You're welcome. If you would like the biggest change in your lifetime, go ahead and book your free consultation with Dr. Triggs. Click the link in the bio. All right, you guys, I'm back. Hey, cousin, it's your cousin Crystal bringing you another live reaction video. Okay, so you guys, guess what? Guess what? <laughs> Zoe is back, y'all. Zoe is back. Now, when she went live, I seen a few of my cousins. I seen a few of y'all um on this live. But y'all, why they muted me on the live? Like the coordinator, she muted me because she was ignoring a lot of people's questions, and I wish I could play like I wish it would show like um their live like the comments and stuff while she's going live but unfortunately it doesn't which is weird to me unless it's like on youtube or something but um yeah she muted me because she was she wasn't answering a lot of the the dolls questions and i was answering them and i guess i was getting to them faster than she was who knows who cares okay but anyway so let's go ahead and jump into this live with our girl Zoe, she's back, okay? Zoe is back. Um, <laughs> Zoe, don't give us a hard time. Zoe, answer these questions correctly, Zoe. You should know BMIs and all that stuff by now, Zoe. This is like your 10th live reaction video, Zoe. Come on, Zoe, or do we need Nicole back? Come on, Zoe. Okay, y'all. So, we're about to go ahead and jump into this video. Please keep in mind that I will have to pause it and um, um, talk a little bit in between. Um, not my policies, YouTube policies. Also, on top of that, don't forget to go ahead and thumbs up this video for your cousin one time for the one time. Don't forget, if you are new here, go ahead and subscribe. Trust me, you're going to like it here. I'll be dropping free gems every day, okay? Let's get into it. Hey, you guys. Hey, girl. It's Zoe. I'm here. Um, I'm back with Vixen Plastic Surgery. Um, I'm back with my live reaction video. Today, I actually want to talk to you guys about something specific. We had a lot of questions about cancellations, and I just wanted to talk to you guys about the five main reasons that you could be canceled. So, you know, get all the information you can from this and ask any questions you have about, you know, our cancellations, um, just so you can prevent that and you guys don't come down here just to get canceled. We all want you guys to get your surgery. So, yeah, let's get into it. If you have any questions about anything I'm saying, Lori's behind the camera and she's going to help me um, ask any questions. So, go ahead. So one of the reasons um, people will be canceled, Dr. Cannon's been having this a little bit, you know, frequently lately, is going to be if you have a hernia. The doctor cannot operate on you if you have not cleared your hernia up. So if you know that you have a hernia or you've dealt with that in the past, go ahead and go see your primary doctor. Make sure that you get all of that taken care of before you then come down here and try to get your surgery because unfortunately you will be canceled for that. Okay, so this is why I say you have to do your research. Now, now Zoe. Zoe, Zoe. Why you told these people they'll get canceled if they have a hernia, Zoe? Now, Zoe. Why did you just tell these people that they will get canceled if they have a hernia? Okay, so correction. 
depending on what procedure see she should have emphasized but that's what i'm here for so if you're going to get a bbl lipo 360 correction you will get canceled um for having a hernia now if you choose to get a combo or a tummy tuck you can have the hernia removed while getting a tummy tuck it's an extra upcharge, I believe, anywhere from $800 to $1,000 added on to your tummy tuck procedure because you're still going to get a muscle repair. But while they're doing your tummy tuck, they can definitely remove the hernia. So if you're getting a tummy tuck, you can still get have your surgery performed. If you're getting a BBL, then you will get rescheduled or canceled. But I'm quite sure that a lot of you cousins know if you have a hernia to consult with your doctor, you know. Um, you can go ahead and get that hernia removed with a referral to a specialist from your primary care physician. So you can go ahead and have that hernia removed. I believe you have to wait still three to six months before you can go and try to get that BBL procedure done, but it can be done. The next one is going to be pregnancy. So obviously, if you're pregnant, you can't, you know, come get a BBL. So make sure that not only are you, you know, using protection, but just make sure you're not pregnant before you come down here. We will give you a pregnancy test at your pre-op, um, and that's going to be a urine test. So it's going to, you know, test, and it could tell you before you even know. So just make sure that if you have a surgery booked, I've had it, heard it happen too many times to women um, where they get pregnant right before their surgery. So just please be careful if your goal is to have, you know, your plastic surgery coming up. So our third reason is going to be drugs and nicotine. If you are a smoker, I would advise you to stop smoking at least four weeks in advance. Um, you cannot get surgery um, if you have nicotine in your system, also any like cocaine, drugs, Stuff like that you will be tested for both of those at your pre-op and the morning of your surgery so just keep it clean at least for one month it's gonna help your healing go a lot better um, so yeah another thing you might be canceled for is your payments so everything has to be cleared and paid for by your pre-op date now if you're using a credit card I need you to go ahead and use that two weeks prior to your surgery so we make sure that everything clears and also you must be the person that's on the card if you're going to use somebody else's card for example your husband's card you know anybody else's card that's fine they just have to be with you the day of your surgery because we will check for an id match okay so with that okay it's ways around it you can get a notarized letter you can get a bank statement you can get a copy of that person's ID along with a copy of the card. Um, so it's definitely ways around this. Just for instance, if you use the card um, with online and making payments and stuff, and then you forget the card and you don't bring it to pre-op, as long as you are able to get something printed out from the bank um, as well as um, a copy of the card or something like that, you'll still be good to go in regards to the payments. The card. Um, and those payments have to be done at least two weeks in advance prior to your surgery. If they're not, you will be canceled. If you come down and you have an outstanding balance and you don't give us cash, or the person that owns the card is not with you, you will unfortunately be canceled. So that's why a lot of women bring a little extra cash just in case. If there's any you know balance obviously you can call um, and make sure that your balance is cleared before you come down here but I would just definitely make sure that that's all done um, and then another thing um, this is pretty self-explanatory but we want to make sure that your body is okay to undergo surgery so you're gonna have to have a medical clearance um, all of your numbers have to be in range you know, when you sign up um, to inquire for a consultation with us, we will end up and we find out that you're a good qualification for surgery. We will send you all the documents that the doctors um, and everybody, you know, the labs and the test results, you're gonna have to have every single one of those sent to our office before your surgery day um, with a medical clearance. So 
just because it's a lot of information and you don't want to wait until last minute to make sure, you know, you might have to, so you're, what happened to me one time was somebody, the person taking my blood, forgot to put in for one of the numbers. So I did have to go probably three days before I left to Miami to get another blood test. So make sure you're on top of that. And then you can even call the office and ask them, hey, are you missing anything from my, my file? That way we're all on the same page, you're clear for surgery and you're good to go. You don't come down here and, you know, get canceled. So if you guys have any questions about that, I'm gonna hop on our live and see what you guys have to say. A question here is, why do you have to bring extra cash? You don't have to. Yes, you I do. I am just somebody that thinks ahead. Um, and I know uh -oh. a lot of other people are like that. Let me stop her. Y'all don't listen to Zoe. Zoe, what's wrong with you? Why are you telling these people they don't have to bring extra money? Yes, they do, Zoe. Y'all better bring extra money. I'm telling you now. Let me tell you why, cousins. You need to bring extra money because if you're going to Vixen or Smart, you still have to buy your Faha. If it did not come into if it didn't come already in your pre-op package you may want to buy two fajas because the faja you're going to wake up in is going to be extremely large and um it's going to be bloody even though you're going to wash it out some people like fresh fajas okay like me so you want to buy an extra faja so you can have your stage two faja but not to mention you know that first faja you can get it taken in by two inches where you can at least wear it for a stage two that new faja you actually can buy it in the stage three um what else um, in case like you getting, um, if you end up adding on something like chin lipo or arm lipo, you want to go ahead and get those garments. You may want to go ahead and add on an extra massage or something like that. You get what I'm saying? You want to bring extra money. You want to bring extra money. Okay. So Zoe, let me tell these people don't bring no extra money. Every surgery I've had, I have brought an extra. I brought extra money, at least an extra thousand dollars, five hundred to a thousand dollars max. Because depending on what recovery house you stand in, or if you stand in a hotel, I mean, it, I mean, I'm just saying, like, y'all bring extra money. Don't Zoe quit telling these people don't bring no extra money. That's just like traveling, and you ain't bringing no extra money. No, ma'am. Oh, so for example, for me, everything was paid. My balance was already paid. Um, before I moved to Miami and I got my BBL, I did not live in Miami. So when I came here, everything was already paid for. But I know that I wanted to buy an extra faja. I know that I wanted to buy extras, you know, just like when you go to, you know, any any place, a exactly. store, anything that has something for sale. Um, again, you don't have to buy the extra faja. And, uh, just in case if you need anything else so another question is where can you stay after surgery so you can stay at an airbnb you can go ahead and do your own research and find a recovery house that's near vixen that works for you you can stay at a hotel um there are a ton of areas or a ton of okay also cousins i want to let y'all know not only do I offer the concierge services where I travel with you for your surgery and stuff like that and I offer the post-op care, but I also offer the consultation. The consultation is $30 where we'll be on the phone. We'll go ahead and discuss and try to find your doctor, do some background check on him, and just look at some reviews and see if he's a good fit for you because every doctor is not a good fit for every candidate or every doll. Also, the third thing, I do offer my research advocate um, package that's $40 where I will go ahead and research, um, help you find the best flight ticket, round trip flight ticket, as well as the best hotel in that area where you'll be close to the doctor's office, as well as I'll help you research Airbnbs. Now I have a list of some Airbnbs that are surgery friendly and they are equipped for patients that are coming into Miami to have surgery. So you don't have to worry about the rip and the wrap. It comes with wash and dryer. They're very nice. They're close to the airport and they're close to Vixen and Smart. So for that, um, 
for finding those for you and sending you a listing of some that fee is forty dollars so it's like basically i'm working for you i'm doing everything for you girl so yeah i just wanted to let y'all know that is around the airport vixen is only a six to eight minute drive from the airport so i would advise you to look for recovery houses or um, hotels or something in that area that way you, when you're coming back for your post-op or when you're you know leaving surgery you don't have a far 35 minute drive when you're in pain um, so just look for somewhere in that general area and just do your research and see what's best for you a question here in TikTok is which is the best procedure after you have weight loss surgery Okay, so you're probably going to have some extra loose skin around this area. So what you're going to want to do to get rid of that um, is going to be a tummy tuck. So, you know, whether it's going to be a mini tummy tuck or an extended tummy tuck, your doctor will know what's best for you. Um, but that's what my advice would be. You might also have sagging breasts. So if you have anything like that and you want to get, you know, um, your breasts put back to where they go, um, breast augmentation might be best for you. So, yeah. How long do I have to use the BBL pillow for? We advise you not to sit on your butt on a, on a hard surface for 12 weeks. I know that's a long time, um, but if you can do it, try to do it for as long as you can. Um, especially if you're sitting at work, you know, it's really not too hard to just put that BBL pillow right there for 12 weeks. Um, that's just gonna help ensure that the fat that the doctor, that the surgeon transfers to your hips and your butt um, create their own blood supply and then they're going to be there to stay. That means, you know, um, your results will be better. So a question here is about labs. Analyses are supposed to be done how long before surgery? Within your 30 day window. If you put 250 down about a year ago, is it still valid? Your deposits are valid for two years at Vixen. So how long do I stay in Miami if I am coming out out of state for a BBL? For a BBL, you want to stay for at least five days because that's going to give you time to get some massages while you're out here. Miami has, Vixen Plastic Surgery has the best um, lymphatic drainage massage therapist. Um, so, you know, that's kind of our specialty out here. So you're going to want to stay for at least five days to make sure that, you know, you have no complications um, and then you're getting your massages afterwards. And you guys, um, Zoe, I'm not understanding why on these videos, <sighs> Zoe, you advocating and you promoting and stuff for Vixen and you just got your body done. You're supposed to be an example, especially to the new, the new dolls. Now, Zoe, let me see. Zoe got her breast done. I want to say I'm about to be five weeks zoe is almost three months i want to say zoe is like a month a month and a half ahead of me zoe why you don't never have that faha on zoe zoe i'm gonna need you to start wearing that faha zoe because you you looking swole zoe zoe now look, let me tell y'all now let me tell y'all baby i'm not gonna lie i love zoe's breast okay i feel like they really fit her body frame and everything and i can't believe they told me zoe is five four ain't no way she's my height she looks so tall i guess it's camera or tv vision i don't know but zoe looks tall she's like she's tall i can't picture her being five four but y'all you guys her breast size is 477 cc high profile silicone um and she just had an aug she didn't get um a lift she just got implants because she didn't even have a lot of breast tissue like i have to give it to her i really love how dr Triggs did her breast but zoe you need to put that faha on you need to put that faha on zoe i messaged you on instagram and asked you why you don't be wearing that faha zoe don't mess up them results girlfriend and then, you know, also it's just very uncomfortable for the first few days. So the last thing you want to do is try to fly, uh, fly home, you know, when you just had surgery two days ago. So, yeah. When flying out and you have had a BBL and lipo 360 and breast augmentation, how do I proceed on my, on my flight card rights, etc.? 
set it up. How do you sit on your flight? Is yes. That what the or is? guard rides. Okay. So technically, you're really not supposed to sit on your BBL pillow for two weeks after your surgery. But the exception is going to be when you take that flight home because there's really no other way. Personally, what I did um, was I once the seatbelt sign is off, I got up and I walked around went to the bathroom as much as possible. You want to keep your blood flowing. Um, and I also did my flight. Attendants allowed me to, once we took off, I was sitting on the BBL pillow. Once we took off, I was on my knees and I turned around. Um, and then when I was in the car, I did the same exact thing. You can either use your BBL pillow. Again, you want to wait at least two weeks. So, you know, you can lay down in the back if you're really fresh off the table. Otherwise, you can sit on your knees and kind of turn around. Um, but that's only going to be for the first two weeks. After that, you can use your BBL pillow. Can you get a BBL and breast augmentation together? Yes. Talk about breast reduction. What would you like to know about breast reduction? Maybe the difference between lift and reduction. Okay. So basically it's the skin, the extra skin. Right. When you're yeah. getting a breast reduction, you're getting a lift yeah. instead, but you're getting an extra hanging skin removal. So right. yeah. that's basically the difference between those. Mm -hmm. Perfect. Okay. Um, you recommend any massage therapist? Yeah, we actually have them at Vixen. Um, you can buy a package with us. Sometimes when we run promos, we do include them in that price. Um, so I would just talk to your coordinator to see what's included in your package. And if you need to add massages, you can do that the day of or at your pre-op. Or, you know, you can even call ahead and book them. Whatever's best for you. Will they cancel if you're a little over BMI? Yes. What are the BMI ranges? So the BMI go. ranges, where do you know them off the top of your head? Yes, uh, Dr. Trick Zoe. is for- Zoe, see, I knew this. I knew it was coming. Zoe, why are you, it's, it's not even three doctors at, at Vixen anymore. It's only two. Why you don't know Dr. Triggs and Dr. Uh, Dr. Cannon's BMI? Why you don't know they BMI, Zoe? <sighs> Lord Jesus. Almost 35 or below. Um, regular is 36, not too, uh, I think until 38. But Dr. Cannon accepts BMI until 39. Yes. So the reason why I had to ask her that was because I know that Dr. Cannon, um, you know, and the combos and stuff, sometimes it all switches. Um, but 39 is Cannon's drop-off, 38 is Trick's drop-off, and then if you're getting a combo, you're going to do, your drop-off is 35. Now, if you are right at that BMI, I really suggest you dropping down a little bit more prior to your surgery. Let's say you're at 39. You don't want to come in the day of and have an extra water weight from the flight or, you know, maybe you're holding water from, you know, menstruating. So you don't want to come here and then get right at that 39 and it might be 39.5 or 40 and then you get canceled. So even though those are the max numbers, I do recommend trying your hardest to get a little bit under. Does Dr. Trix do skinny BBLs? Yes. Yes. Of course. That's his specialty. Okay. As long as they can find enough fat in the 360 area um, to transfer to the to the butt and the hips. Yes. Where is the difference between the mommy makeover and getting BBL and Lego 360? So a, a mommy makeover is going to have more than just one procedure. Typically, you're going to maybe do like a... Um, a breast lift and a tummy tuck um, so then you can kind of get both things that happen and they call it a mommy makeover because it's typically you know the procedure you have after you have you're done having kids or after you have a child and you feel like things are a little bit out of place so we just call it a mommy makeover um, you can also get combo methods without being a mother and then a BBL with lipo 360 it, that's not a combo method because you have to have the lipo 360 in order to get the bbl it's all one procedure um they take the lipo you know they harvest the fat 360 around here and then they take that and then they re-inject that back into your button hip so that's the difference 
Does someone has to have to be there with you for pre op? No. If you did use somebody's card, though, like I said before, if you're just joining us for your pre op, they will ask you to show ID for the credit card that you used for making your payments. AKA, if your boyfriend, husband, your friends, your dad, your mom, anybody, your sister made payments with their credit card to your balance, you're gonna have to have them come with you to Miami so then they can show their ID and validate that they made those payments for you. Why? Moral of the story is just use your own card or pay cash because at the end of the day, who mama and daddy and cousin and sister and uncle and neighbor flying with somebody to um, show that this is their car that they, who's doing all that? I'm confused. Who's doing that? No. The 360 area. The 360 area, that's a good question. So that's, you think about 360, that's a circle. So think about the circle around your stomach, your it's back, your back side. Too, and it's going to go from basically where your underwear line is up to your bra line. That's a good like measurement to, to think of. And then that's going to be all the way around. So your sides to snatch in your hip, you know, your waist, the front area, your the pouch dominant. area, um, and then the, you know, middle, upper, lower back as well. Can you do a lipo 360 without a BBL? Yes, yes. you definitely can. And don't forget, you guys, we have a Mother's Day special going on. So if What's you sign up for that, you're going to get $250 towards any of your procedures. Uh Okay, <laughs> so y'all heard the special, right? Vixen, what's what 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 is that? What now, Vixen? Y'all know y'all could have Vixen. What what special is that? I need to know what special. This is Mother's Day, so that's all we good for is a two hundred and fifty dollars. <laughs> two hundred and fifty dollars, Vixen. Oh Lord, I see they running over there to Shanklin, baby, because Shanklin run a specials every day. Mother's Day, Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday special, Thursday, Friday. <laughs> Let me tell y'all something. Smart is over there running the specials through the roof, honey, okay? I got to give it to him. Dr. Shanklin is running the specials through the roof. After having a 360, can you go back to work? That's a good question. I just had a friend go back to work. I told her two weeks, let's just say. I think she went back 10 days later and she was totally fine. She was up and walking around she manages it um a place so she's up and walking around um we do advise you to get up and moving after your surgery so you can get back to healing and getting back to you know not being so stiff and so you can get your blood circulating so the more you take care of yourself drinking your water um you know getting off pain meds all of that um the faster you can go back to work so it really just depends on your body on your pain tolerance on your job all that but a safe bet would be like 10 to 14 days. Can we bring our own faha? You can, but you're going to wake up in one of Vixen's fahas. So if you want to bring your faha for, let's say, when you're staying in Miami day three and you get a massage and your faha that you got from Vixen is, you know, dirty with fluids from you and you want to have your own faha to put on while you're washing the other faha, that's totally fine. But for your actual surgery, we are going to put you in a faja because you don't know what size you're going to be. Um, you're going to wake up in an extremely large faja because you're you're meant to swell. We don't want to constrict something too soon right after surgery. So you're going to wake up in something that you probably are like, why did they give me a 3X, you know? Um, and I'm not, you know, I don't feel like I would fit a 3X. It's because of the swelling. So just because you don't know what size you're going to be, um, we are not going to use your faja for post-surgery. We also don't know, like, for sanitary reasons and everything. So, yeah. And that's the reason why I was saying to bring extra money because you're going to end up buying another Faha from Vixen. And when you pay that $150 to Vixen, 
they're going to put you in whatever size they feel that's comfortable for you to get in because you're going to be full with a lot of fluid and you're going to be swollen and basically inflated okay so my normal size is a medium i woke up in an extra large okay now i'm in my stage two i'm in a large i'm on the second row i gotta get to the third row probably another week i'll be down in a medium on the first row in my third stage faha so you want to bring extra money i am a mommy and i wanted my breast lift and augmented with a BBL and 360 LiPo. Will it be best that I do it the mommy makeover or proceed to booking them separately? So a mommy makeover is when we price quote you for a mommy makeover, that's just a quote. You are still gonna be um, charged per procedure. So it's all gonna be the same. If you talk to your coordinator, I, I, don't, I think you're meaning like all at the same time or two separate surgeries. If you can handle both surgeries at the same time and you want it just all done at the same time, I would do all at the same time. If you wanna do two separate procedures, um, that's fine. I will say when we're doing combo methods, the LiPo 360, they're not legally able to take as much, harvest as much fat. So if you're, um, that being said, if you do want like an extreme LiPo 360, it, um, I would do two separate procedures. That way they can take all the way up to four liters instead of the one liter that you can take when you do a couple method. Okay, y'all heard How that? Messages? I want to make sure y'all heard that. Okay, Zoe, I'm proud of you. You really explained that very, very well. Okay, so this is somewhat why the reason why I split it up some of my procedures because after further doing my research i come to realize that when i guess it just depends on the doctors and it's a hit and miss for some people and i don't want to discourage any of my cousins um but at the same time for the ones especially if you're getting a bbl i know you be wanting a lot of fat transferred you be wanting a lot of fat taken out especially if you're doing that lipo 360 and that tummy tuck okay um when you dealing with getting combos even dr williams stated on his youtube channel I mean, I did lots of research on this, and that's the reason why I did not do combo because I feel like my personal opinion, I feel like that when you're getting all of these different combos, they're focusing, yeah, they're doing what they're supposed to do, but they're focusing in one area, and I feel like, you, and on top of that, I mean, it's not about how I feel. It's the point in is facts that they're not taking out four liters, like, was Zoe just expressed it to you all? They're not taking out four liters. So it's just like, give or take. Like, you're getting LiPo 360 BBL and you're getting um, a tummy tuck. Yeah, we want our stomach flat, flat, flat. But at the same time, they're transferring some to your butt too. So they're not going to be able to take out a lot, a lot, a lot out of your stomach, out of your abdominal area because they only can do one or 1 1.5 liter. So it's just like you're going to end up going back again, maybe for another round of lipo 360 or another round of BBL. You get what I'm saying? So I feel like I made the best choice of breaking up my procedures instead of doing a combo because some of the doctors, I feel like they get lazy with some of the patients. I'm not going to say any names, but I feel like they get lazy sometimes. Or it's just the simple fact of, I mean, it is what it is. They only can take out of so much when they're doing combos. I know y'all be wanting to get it done all at once, but if you're not liking your results, you're definitely going to go back again for a whole nother round, okay? need to close up so there's really no limit um the more the better we advise you to do one every day for at least two weeks um like i said before if you don't live in the miami area it might be a little bit hard for you when you go back home to find somebody that's available for you every single day i know it gets expensive um just know that the more massages you get the better results you're gonna get um the more you stick to that plan for your healing and staying away from alcohol nicotine salt all that drinking your water um, the better and faster you're going to heal and your results are going to look better. So I would say at least once every day, um, for the first two weeks and then a few times a week after that. And until you feel good, you can also, when you're not getting professional massages, you know, when you, a month later, a few weeks later, you can start massaging yourself. You might kind of learn how they're doing it and you can do it in the shower and everything, but definitely once every day for the first time. Question. 
What's going on? Come on, Zoe. What's going on? What's going on? What's going on? Okay. Somebody said love the video. Yes, I, I was about to read it. that. <laughs> so yes, can you repeat again what I mean what all are those common reasons that yes, we get cancelled? Yes. So if you're just joining us, I'm gonna tell you guys the five top reasons why okay, we're having so cancellations here. Basically she just doing a recap on everything. So um like I mentioned, she was basically saying you can get canceled due to pregnancy. You can get canceled for high BMI. You can get canceled for having nicotine in your system. You can get canceled for using a card that doesn't belong to you. That's somebody else's card. And you don't have the proper identification to prove that that's your card. Or are you capable of using it? So just, um, and being, not being late for the day of surgery, of course. Um, but other than that, yeah, we're going to go ahead and wrap up this video. We thank you, Zoe. You did a good job. Um, but yeah, if you have any further questions before we end this video, go ahead and thumbs up for your cousin. I want to thank you so much for watching and I'm out. Peace. So in this big world full of shaky and disloyal people, if you have somebody solid in your life, you cannot treat them like they regular. Make sure you show them you appreciate them through your actions and your energy. Good people are hard to find. Make sure you recognize And, them. and, and, these surgeries ain't, them ain't no fake booties. That's your real fat. That's your fat. Being redirected as it, it should have been. And reallocated. Yeah. You take this here, throw that over there. That's take it. This, that's all. It that's all. You needed help. <laughs> It ain't no different than when you got a lung collapse and they send the breath another way. <laughs> I just, I mean, I'm saying what I'm saying to make sure this brother is not judgmental. If you decide to do that, oh, look, all you, that's all they doing. It's your fat. You don't want it in your stomach. You want it in your butt. <laughs> Why would you want that in your stomach? If somebody can help you move that around, would you not take that? <laughs> You know what I'm saying? It ain't no different than you getting braces. God allowed you to have an alligator mouth. That's how he wanted you to be. But you decided it wasn't a good look. And now you get braces. Don't nobody talk about that. Look at you with braces. <laughs> Fake mouth. It's like these are my teeth. <laughs> they just got rearranged. These are my teeth. I feel like falling in love. I'm in the mood to fuck something up. And I'm fucking something. I need some drink in my cup. Hey. I'm in the mood to fuck something up